How can you be sure you're looking at the real thing? Hi, Miss Piggy. Hi, Miss Piggy. Beep. <clears throat> it's not as easy as you think. For me? Mm-hmm. For me? Mm-hmm. Hi! Yeah! Gee, uh, how'd you know that wasn't me? No, I didn't. Well, all of the unsung heroes are actually the puppeteers who you would never know if you walked by them on the street. Um, but they're insanely talented people. I think Brett McKenzie probably. I mean, he's never there really, because when, when we're filming, he's always recording music and doing something else. So he's only ever been on set like once ever. But his songs really hold the film together. And I think without them, you know, the song, the, the movie is funny and interesting, but I think the songs really make it fly, which I love about them. And obviously I worked with him for a long time. So I think he'd probably be that guy. I am unsung hero. Although I did not get away with uh, Crown Jewels, I did get to sing two musical numbers and dance around and pretend to love Pig. <laughs> this was a lot of fun for a bad guy. So I would say me. Always me. Well, Muppets to me were the main reason for watching TV in the 70s. I watched them every Sunday for five or six years, however long, however long they're on for. And I watched it like I was a super fan. I watched it all the time. And I loved those guys. And they very much, I think your sense of humor is formed very young as a, as a person. I feel that you kind of influenced by things you watch at a very early age. So I'm pretty sure that what I find funny is because of the Muppets and therefore be able to write for them is a great gift because I can kind of give that back in some ways. Um, and in growing up, my favorite Muppet was always someone like Fozzie because he's so funny. But I also really like the kind of secondary characters like, you know, Link Hogthrob, who is the captain of the ship in Pigs in Space. It's kind of always changing. I, 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 I really, right now, I love uh, Constantine, even though I'm not supposed to. He is hilarious. Well, uh, I would have to say it is me. Constantine, the world's most dangerous frog, has escaped. Check this out. Ah. Oh, look, it's Kermit. Ah. Ah. Well, what did you do with Kermit? Where do I love? I love Seville, Seville in Spain. I was there when I was younger. I love that place. It's so beautifully historic, and I loved the um, ballroom there, and I stayed in a beautiful hotel there, very old Alfonso XI. You know, the only real European city that I went to was London. We were in London, England, and so I, I would have to say that. I can tell you that my wife's is London. I also love London. She just gets to see a lot more of it than I do. It is just very pretty. Uh, although when we were filming movie, it was winter time. And it was cold, so it reminded me of my homeland. I think for me it's probably Rome. Anywhere old, really. I'm very much, if you notice in the films I make, I tend to have a lot of sense of history about them. And Montpellier is an equally beautiful French city in the southwest of France. With findanyfilm.com, you get the real thing guaranteed. Not one person noticed I've been replaced by a criminal mastermind? It sounds worse than it was. I am Kermit. No, that's as bad as it sounds. Muppets Most Wanted. Yeah! <laughs>